Before you get started uploading your voting papers, it's a good idea to double check you've completed them correctly to make sure your vote will count. Check the number at the top of your ballot paper matches the number at the top of your declaration, that you've completed all the fields on the declaration form, and make sure you and your witness have both signed the declaration. Once you've checked your voting papers, you'll need to scan or photograph them to upload to the vote.nz website. Be careful when you take your photos that you only have one form in each image, that the image shows the whole page, and that they are in focus and readable. One page should not be broken up into multiple images, and we also need to be able to see the declaration number in each image. Once you've captured all the pages, you can visit vote.nz forward slash overseas to start your upload. Now, select the files to upload. Make sure the device you're using to visit the website has access to the files you created. Once you've uploaded all your files, click the Next button. You'll be given the chance to review each image. If you need to change any of the files, you can delete the uploaded file and choose another instead. If you're happy that they meet the criteria, then click Submit to begin your upload. If it's successful, you will see confirmation letting you know it's complete. Don't leave it to the last minute. All voting papers need to be submitted by 7pm New Zealand time on Election Day. And make sure you only submit your voting papers once. Submitting your papers more than once may mean your vote won't count. If you have any trouble with your upload, you can find information at vote.nz forward slash overseas or contact us for help.